Hello everybody and welcome to a new behemoth of a series. My name is Yamalicious and today what I have for you is the Binding of Isaac Repentance. I'm sure that if you clicked on this video through a sub box or whatever you're very familiar with this game. We know who played it, Northern Lion, etc, etc. That's how everything started for me on YouTube really. Um, but that's past. That, that's in the past now. Um, so let me just explain to you a little bit. A little bit. Don't worry. It won't, won't take very long. This series isn't going to be vanilla. It's going to be modded. There's going to be fiend folio. There's going to be a, a, a re re revamped enemies mod, um, which is cool because it'll keep things fresh and just a ton of quality of life mods. Either way, they're not going to be in the first episode because I also want to get all of the achievements um, in a series. And it's just like, bro, you can't get achievements before you beat mom's heart with mods. So that's a bit of a monkey wrench into my, the plans I had very carefully crafted. For now, it'll be vanilla. But we're going to have a modded series soon. Um, you may ask, why the hell am I doing such a such a huge game? Especially all achievements. And that's just because I want to get better at talking on camera and being comfortable on camera. And I know that maybe you maybe didn't ask or don't care. So you go like, don't care, didn't ask, uh, plus ratio. We'll go back to Salt Shakers. I don't give a shit. I don't care. This is, oh, this is more a personal improvement thing than anything for me. So, if anyone watches, that's amazing. Thank you very much. I love that. Um, if no one watches, that's cool too. I just want to get these videos out there and just deal with the fact that I'm just making things, which is fun. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to start a run here. I, I can talk through some more of the details of the series as I go. So, here we are. Normal Isaac. Not the way it was supposed to be, but that's okay. So, I've, I've, tried, I've attempted to do Isaac series in the past, actually. Um, but I didn't really think about, uh, what that would entail. You know what I mean? So, way back, like, 2016, maybe? It's already, like, eight years ago. Mm, that's not right. It's six years ago, buddy. All right, so I'm not good at math. Uh, reveal immediately. Oh, let me just check real quick about if all of the things are good. Ah, I think it, okay, I think it's good. Um, so, why I'm doing this is, like I said, because I want to get better at just, like, talking, uh, to someone who's not there, which is you guys. I mean, you're here and you're listening, but uh, I don't know that. I don't know who's watching right now, but I want to just be able to just ramble and talk about my day um, in the very same manner that Northern Lion does when he started it, because uh, I think it's fun. And I think I have a brain that's very chaotic and can absolutely jump from topic to topic. I just need the confidence to get there. So that's why I'm doing this. And uh, as a rule, even though there was a cut at the start, as a rule, I want to make it so I don't edit anything. And I, you may be like, what? But attention spans of people these days are like one minute. Blah, blah, blah. That may be very well, very well true. Um, but I don't care about that. I don't mind it. Because um, I just want to be able to fill the air with just what comes out of my brain. That's a mama mega right from the get-go. That's interesting. Is it? I don't know. I'm just saying it's interesting because I don't know what else to say about it. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so, sure, this may, this series may not be the best for current YouTube, because <laughs> I, I know what does well on YouTube these days, short, one-off videos, etc. But uh, the way I see it, I can go to that whenever the hell I want. Ooh, dead onion, that's a great first item. Uh, but I can go to that whenever the hell I want. So for now, I just want to do this. It's my personal training arc, and if you want to be here to see me grow and improve with commentary, or maybe just not at all, um, this is it. This is the place for you. No, no, nowhere else will you have someone as open as me about this, this stuff. Um, I don't know. It could be off-putting to people that I'm so open right now. And it's just like, I'm just like, this is what I want to do. And it's just for improvement. Because it kind of breaks the illusion of like the YouTube stuff. Because you come here to like unwind and get, um, just forget about your life for a bit. So to, to have someone talk uh, about their aspirations like this, it could be a little bit like, oh, I don't know about that. But like I said, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, of course, your feelings matter to me. That's the whole point of like doing a YouTube thing. Um, but, but I'm going to look for the second secret room here real quick. Uh, but for now, this is all me, baby. It's all for me. Um, and I love it. I, I, I just want to be able to relax and play video game and talk, which will also help with streaming later and just... Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why that. I don't know why I made that noise. It wasn't that scary. Uh, we'll help with streaming later. We'll help with a lot of things that I want to achieve in the future. 
So this is my this is my starting line, if you will. Um, so I do realize how big of a series Isaac can become, but I just want to do it. I just want to do it, and I want to do it every day too. I want to record a video and I want to upload it raw. Um, as of right now, I have no thumbnail. I have no nothing. Mm. So it's just like, yo, what am I even doing? It's not planned out at all. But you know what? Sometimes you can you can plan as much as you want, but planning can also be a way to uh, procrastinate. Whoa, what the hell? This was amazing. Okay, Tears of Great, Spirit Hearts. This is a very strong first one. Uh, I love it. So, for people who may be unfamiliar with Isaac, but are like, I like this Yelmer guy, so I'm going to watch whatever he puts out. I do get 20 views, so there's 20 people out there that, that, that act like that. Um, uh, this is Isaac. Isaac is a roguelike, randomly generated every single run. So, this run I've never actually played before, which is funny, because I have played this for like a thousand hours. Um... And just so many items and different things, like this one is a fly, and if you get hit, it attacks things for you. And you get tears upgrades, you can see my stats on the left there. Tears upgrades make you shoot more often, damage upgrades make your tears do more damage. Just like a quick run through for people who don't really get it. Um, welcome, by the way, welcome to Isaac. Uh, I, I really hope I can get can, can be a part of uh, people's um, routine, in a way. Like, if I happen to keep it up, um, and if this episode even makes light of day, uh, it'd be cool if I was, like, a part of their, um, part of their, uh, a uh, routine. Yeah, that, I mean, that, that's the way I wanted to be. Uh, I think some people are already, like, really into my Hollow Knight series, um, even though I, I did kind of, I, I rushed it a little bit because I just kind of, at, at one point it just went on for too long, and I just wanted it to be done so I could move on, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm moving on. I, I did, did have a bit of a break. For a long time, I didn't make any video, uh, but but that's not supposed to stop me. Oh, that's uh, that's that, that's a trinket right there. While you're holding it, it does a different effect, but that one is bad, so I don't want it. It makes you poop at random times, and it can actually block you in. So no, thank you. Nice nickel. That's five cents, baby. Um. So yeah, welcome to the start of this. Whatever this is. Oh, oh god. All right. So I think I've said everything I wanted to say about the series. Uh, now for the rambling. What do I ramble about? That, 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 that is a great question. How do people ramble? Because one way to do it is to write down notes. Like, and go, like, before the episode, just, like, write down three topics. And then, like, I want to talk about these topics. And, like, you just do that throughout the day. Uh, that's something I could do. Um, is it something I want to do? No. Is it something that would be smart to do? Probably. So that's something that may come. Okay, you know what? I'm going to start with donating a little bit here. Because I feel like that's just kind of smart. See, we got already got an item. Woohoo! We did it. We did it, everybody. So, rambling. Ramble. Topics. Great. The queen is dead. Is that a good first topic? <laughs> I don't think so. It's a very politically loaded one. Um, no, no, we're not talking about that. I'm just going to say rest in peace. My condolences. Um, it is crazy. Um, it, it is crazy. Uh, okay, you know what? I guess I am going to talk about it. So this is going to be very personal. Like, it's going to be my, uh, my, my, my my opinions about it. So, while I'm not sad about it, as I'm not British, uh, I do think it's weird. Because it's like, you know, she's been there for such a long time. She was 96 years old. Can you, can you believe that? 96 years old. That's So, just to put it into context, I'm 22 right now. Hello. I'm 22 years old. Um... At the prime of my life, that's not true. I think prime of your life is more about 25, but that, that's beyond, that's besides the point. Um, 96, she was 20, she was about my age during World War II. You know, that whole thing, that whole debacle. I mean, we all know about, oh, that kind of sucks, shelf sweep done. Um, okay, wait, let's see what, what we got here. Uh, Lord of the Pit, the left one makes me fly, the right one gives me a damage upgrade and gives me fear shot. I think I'm gonna get the damage upgrade for now, just cause it's not, we're not here to do super crazy runs. We're just here to beat mom for now. Mm. But yeah, 22 years, no, yeah, just around my age during World War II. That's nuts. World War II was ages ago. People don't even know about that guy anymore. And there's certainly not any followers of him in this day and age, right? <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. We've learned so much um, in, the, in the 70, 80 years since that's happened. There's no way anyone else could still believe what that man believed <laughs> oh, okay uh, I don't I'm not gonna loop that up oh of course of the maze isn't that fun 
Okay, okay, but all, all jokes aside, that's a long time ago. Um, I cannot imagine living for an entire decade. Decade? Century. That's what, century. I'm 22 right now. That's, if I were to get to that age, that's four times what I've lived through now. And can I be honest? I feel like I've lived a lot already. Obviously not true. 22 is young, but it just feels like I've lived a lot already. And actually, this is a, oh, I'm going to drop a uh, uh, Yelmer Wisdom. In the first episode, that's great. So what I like to say, um, it never, <laughs> it never really blows anyone's mind, but it blew my mind when I said it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tell you guys. Um, so you, the, the truth is, you, you're always the oldest that you've ever been. Yes. Whoa, I can hear it. Yep, your mind is blown. You're typing. You go to the comments and you're going, "Wow, my mind is blown." I know, I know. I'm pretty incredible. Um, but you are, and that'll never change, and that's weird. Just like how no one will ever, uh, in the race of life, no one will ever pass you in age. Um, just that you, that's such a weird thing about time, because it's always moving, always changing, and yet it stays the same. Doesn't it? It does. Um, yeah, so like a decade, could you imagine, like... And she just died. She died before the Splatoon 3. Uh, a day before Splatoon 3. Isn't that sad? I think it's really sad. She would have loved Splatoon 3. I love this Splatoon 3. All right. It, it's been good. Um, oh, man. I'm Okay, so this is the rambling part. I'm, like, jumping from topic to topic. It's flowing naturally. This is good. I'm just going to keep that up. Um, so, Splatoon 3, right? Yeah, I've, I've been playing a little bit. And not a little bit. I've been playing it a lot. And... Uh, I mean, one of one of the big takes, the big boy takes, is that Splatoon is Nintendo's Call of Duty. Uh, I don't agree with that. Funnily enough, like I get it, because when you look at the um, the footage, it's like, well, this these games are very similar, and while they are similar, and the core gameplay loop has hasn't changed, um, there's still so much it has to offer, like, like. Um, Oh my god, <laughs> you're thinking of examples and I, I choke there? Yeah, okay, that's a good good place to choke. Really strong argument. No, but like for real though, like one of the things about it is that the world is so different. Like let me just give you a little bit of a lore thing in Split, Splatoon 3. Splatoon 3 takes place after the world's ended um, because of global warming, sort of. Uh, either way, it's been flooded and then humans were uh, uh, evolved into squid creatures. Um, and, uh, well, now here we are. So, j j just just to be clear, there is information in the third game that makes what I'm saying not entirely true. But I don't really want to get into that in case there's anyone here that's like, I play Splatoon 3. Okay, great, great damage there. Just walk into the fire. Um, maybe there's people that, that, that are watching this that want to play Splatoon 3. Maybe not. Doesn't matter. I'm just being careful just, just for the sake of it. Because I don't want anyone to go, I'm going to watch this get random guy. Uh, oh, I've been spoiled on the story of Splatoon 3. Awesome. So that's not going to happen. Um, either way, that, that's the lore. And every um, game does contribute to that lore, which is a stark contrast to what Call of Duty does, which is not that as far as I know. I mean, I'm saying this. I've never played any of the Call of Duty games, so who knows? But I do don't think it's like... It's just a real... It's just real world things that already happen. So there's no real lore to explain. Like, if you, if you want to know the Call of Duty lore, just open a history book. Right? Right? But maybe that that could be true. So while it does that as well, it also just has the quality of life changes, and just like it has more reasons to keep playing, which is great. Um, so I feel like it's a little different. Well, how did I get this book? Right, I was joking about the queen wanting to play it. Uh, yeah, we went from like how time is a crazy thing, and mortality and death to Splatoon three. So that's pretty fun. So yeah, I'm going on tangents here. That's good. Uh, Little Horn is good. Little Horn gives me like a tear that every once in a while that insta kills enemies. Look. Look, it's gonna come. No, wait, it's not. No, it doesn't insta kill anymore. It just makes something come out of the ground and grab it. Guppies? Oh my god, I need to stop. I can't actually take this. I don't have any help. Oh, I shouldn't forget to breathe. No, I'm not taking Guppy's head. Here, that's an active item. I got Anarchy's cookbook. Mm. So yeah, honestly, the, I'm actually surprised with how quickly I'm jumping from topic to topic. So this is like kind of what I want to build upon. This kind of vibe. Um, it's a very similar vibe to what Northern Lion used to do in Isaac. Uh, obviously, Northern Lion's content has changed a ton. Um, 
So if I can fill that void for some people, that'd be pretty fun. And what better game to do that that with than with Isaac? Because Isaac is one of those games that I've played for a long time and I know inside and out. It doesn't seem like it though, because I keep keep taking terrible damage here. My lord. So having like a part of your brain be dedicated to uh, to talking, it does it does it does actually uh, like do a surprising amount for your performance. Because I'm the the gaming right now is kind of an autopilot, and I'm trying to focus on just like saying things. Um, I bet what, the more I develop that, the better it'll become, obviously. But that 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 that's for the future. Um, that's not right now. Right now, I'm I'm struggling a little bit. As you can see, I, like I don't have a lot of help, uh, which is something in repentance anyway. It's been a lot. It's, it's a lot less generous with help. Uh, like you used to be able to just get a ton of spirit hearts, and now you don't anymore. So that's that's that. Yeah. So this run is actually a little bit on the ropes. Um, it is a decent run though. We have decent DPS. Like I'm not frustrated or anything. Uh oh, hey, cool room. Uh, a little frustrated now. Nah, that's not true. Uh, so we do definitely want to prevent any red heart damage from happening. Okay, that's funny. Now that's funny. I jinxed it. He jinxed it. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the Isaac experience. I forgot. I forgot the way Isaac can be sometimes. Yeah, I'm excited to have like the mods though, because um, I know this. Like I said, I know this game inside and out, and I think it's a little bit more entertaining to have me play something I am not super familiar with. So that's what I want to do. What's this in here? It's a D7. That rewards uh, rewards in the room. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm not really interested. Pill. Lockdown. Sweet. Going off the ropes, baby. Going off the damn ropes. Yeah, but... Uh, so... Splatoon 3 has been a breath of fresh air, in my opinion. Because I feel like the games industry has become more of a uh, for-profit thing than an art thing. Which is uh, not something that's supposed to happen. In my opinion because making video games is a form of art in my opinion and it's it, i mean a lot of like indie developer stuff you use it for that but all the big companies they're just kind of slacking in my opinion um i just feel like all, like a lot of the passion that was there in making video games is not there anymore and that makes me sad because i love uh, i love the passion obviously like, the more emotion is put into something, I feel like the better, the more fun and more charming it is. So, like, for example, Nintendo. I don't know if ever anyone watches, watched the last Nintendo Direct of, it's supposed to be 2022 September Direct. September 13th. Just the worst Direct I've ever seen. Oh, I need to watch the hell out. Uh, but it was just the worst Direct I've ever seen. Oh, my lord. It's like, it's like... Oh my god, I actually gotta focus. Hold on, hold on. We're focusing, we're focusing. Because if I don't, I will die to a bomb fly, and I don't want to die in my first episode. That'd be such a bad way to start it. I feel like that's like a bad omen. So I'm not I'm gonna do my best here. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. Okay, boom. Okay, nice, okay. That's that's a little bit more leeway. Um, but all we got was a bunch of farming games made by Square Enix, and then uh and then Pikmin 4, they went like, hello, we remember Pikmin 4 exists. Sweet! Uh, good for you guys. You already announced Pikmin 4 at the end of Pikmin 3, I think. Unless I'm thinking of, like, Pikmin 2 announcing Pikmin 3, but I don't think that's the case. They already said, like, remember Pikmin 4 is in development. And even six years ago, Miyamoto went, Pikmin 4 is close to finishing. So, you can't just come in, like, six years later and just go... Look, it's a title screen. It's not even titles. It's just the logo of the game. You can't just do that. You promised that it was almost done and then you come in and you don't even have any gameplay. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? I just don't understand it. That that that's that that's all there is to it. I don't understand how they get away with that. And that's the worst part. They get away with it. See that that's that's the problem with it. Even if there's less passion in games and less and attention to detail, in my opinion, um, they get away with it because people still buy the games and if, if anything it's become more popular over the recent years uh than it used to be which is just insane to me it's just it's just nuts um and i wish it would go back but i don't think it ever will nah, that's not true it'll it probably will because nintendo has this cycle they go through where they um are doing well 
Like, here we go. Like, Nintendo 64 did really well. Uh, did so well. It just did really well for them. Because it was a new thing. It was 3D. It was the first 3D console as far, as far as I know. And then they came out with the GameCube. And the GameCube, even though it is a beloved console today. That's epic. Uh, it's It did terribly. It did really badly. And I think that's because Nintendo got cocky. And what came after the GameCube? Um, that's Tropicana. That's not worth it. So I'm not going to get that. Um, what, what came after the GameCube? I think a little console that everybody knows. The Nintendo Wii. Which was a, a monster. A gargantuan in the fucking... In the gaming industry. Uh, so then they made a banger. And then what did, what, what did they make after that? Oh, right. The freaking Wii U. Which did terribly. Probably their worst performing console. Maybe not, but I feel like it was. And then what came out? The Switch. And they did it again. They, they, they fucking... Oh... They did something amazing again. And it's just like, it's such a, it's such a pattern. And I, I feel like we're gonna co go back to that because, um, nice, that's really good. Because I feel like they are slacking again. They are comfortable with their revenue. They're comfortable with their sales. They're just kind of slacking now. They're kind of like, we can sit back and relax. And that means there's only one game on the horizon, which is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, which was announced three years ago and all we've gotten is a title screen and maybe like 10 seconds of gameplay in total that's ridiculous especially because it's already been announced um so i don't know they're just kind of teasing us um and i feel like that's big that that's just because they're very comfortable with their revenue right now and i don't like it i don't like it. i feel like they get lazy so um they're gonna bomb with their next console and then after that they're gonna be back to the spiff so because like Ooh, that's nice because after the wii u the switch came and then we got games like breath of the wild which was really good and then uh, super mario odyssey which while i don't want to get into it now i didn't really like but you cannot deny that it had a lot of detail put into it um you can't deny that like there wasn't what well, there was attention to detail I, I didn't think it was that amazing it was not think it was like mario galaxy good but it was it was good and people loved it and it sold really well and it was what the fans wanted too um, can't deny that. So the, 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 that's what they do. They get comfortable, they fuck up, and then they do something that the fans want and they get back up there again. Or they have a really original idea and then the, the, that's the cycle of Nintendo. And five years into the Switch console cycle, they are now complacent again. And we are just kind of like, cool, I guess we'll wait. I guess we'll wait till they fucking frick up again. But that's fine. That's okay. It's not a huge deal. Um, Moon teleports me to the secret room. That's great. Anyway, that's my Nintendo rant. Uh, we talk about Nintendo for a little bit there. Um, I hope I hope people watching and like Nintendo because otherwise it's, it's all falling on deaf ears. Uh, yeah, usually the passion like the let's just talk more about the video game industry. Usually the passion I find is more found in uh, indie games nowadays, like Hollow Knight, for example. Even though it took me a bit to get into it because it was kind of a daunting game and I get overwhelmed quickly. Um, it was amazing. Like after I really got through it, I did learn to appreciate how amazing it is what that what they made especially with like three people um and of course i'm looking forward to silk song so it's insane that that's that's where the passion lies these days and i don't know what i, I think it's because indie uh developers are still passionate about their products and it's not just for profit they're like i, I have an idea and i want to make it and that's how the best games come to be um one of those is like sort of delta rune um but it's, that's a sequel, so it doesn't really count. And Undertale was still during the time where I feel like games were still full of passion a little bit. But yeah, passion in game industry is dwindling. And you can see it in a lot of different um, a lot of different companies as well. Like, I, I know I know for a fact that EA... Um, I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Like, I, even me mentioning EA is already, like, pe people know what I'm, like, gonna say. They're, they're pretty greedy um, and barely passionate. Especially about like something like The Sims, uh, yeah. But but that's that's whatever. That, that's a whole thing I I can get into, and I'm already kind of getting into it. It's just disappointing to see. That's all. Uh, can I change it? Probably not. So now I'm playing Isaac, the only game that's still good. <laughs> that's a joke. Anyway, I do I do find myself saying there's no good video games anymore, and it does kind of feel that way. But what did we get in 2022? We got like Splatoon 3, which is cool, but a sequel. Uh, we didn't get Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Which I haven't played, but I know is really good. Also, Elden Ring came out this year, didn't it? Oh my, Elden Ring came out this year. 
That's nuts. It doesn't feel like it did. I feel like that came out last year. <laughs> Obviously, it didn't. Weird. Yeah, so, so we, I mean, okay, so, like, that, now, now that's gonna make my argument fall on deaf ears, because Elden Ring came out this year, which obviously is a very passionate game, but I, I, every role has its, uh, has its exception, alright? And, I, I feel, I feel, I, I do feel like an old man who's rambling right now, but screw that, screw you, I'm just, I'm rambling, and that's good, I'm on a tangent, they're not necessarily anecdotes, I think, uh, ooh. What's this? A booster pack. What's in it? Uh, two of clubs. I'll double that. Two of clubs. I'll double that. Tower. Moon again. Death. What are we on? Depths one? Depths one. I'll take the moon for the next uh, next floor, but I'm going to donate real quick. And it jammed. Very sick. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, it's hard to stop, like, to not rehash what I've said a million times before already. Uh, but I'll try. I'll get better. I'll improve. And I'm noticing as the episode goes on, I, <laughs> I think I'm talking so much, I'm not breathing well. I can tell. Um, and that's partially because I feel like I don't want any silence to happen. So I'm just kind of rambling. And that could be way too much, way too fast. Uh, I, I could be overloading your brain with information. Just like I kind of want to watch a chill video. And now I'm like talking about death and, and time and the gaming industry and Platoon 3. And it just it kicked off real quick. That's for sure. It kicked off real quick. Hello, Loki. Haha. <laughs> Loki, pretty easy. Yeah, so, I mean, honestly, here's the thing. Um, if you're watching and you're interested, be sh give feedback to me. I'm here to grow and learn. Um, I'm not here as a professional YouTuber yet. That was amazing. You just went into that bomb. That was awesome. Um, and I, I know, like... People could say like your your commentary is already very good, but it's I, I feel like I could be better. So if you have any 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 pointers, please do. And if I am good enough already, then that's good to know. And I'll I'll try to finish I'll, I'll finish this series because I want to, but that's good to know. Because then I feel like I don't need as much time to maybe move on to other things. Because when I make something, I do want it to be good. And and since um in YouTube. The biggest part of videos is me, uh, my personality. Uh, that's what what I'm selling everything on. Oh, I should have gone to the first room. That's my bad. Uh, so, but that's. I don't want to get too much into it because that's not what. That's maybe not what you're here for. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I could I could call the series like Isaac Bootcamp. I was gonna call the Hollow Knight series there, but then I but then I settled for Road to 112 percent, which is probably catch here, um, which is a series that did pretty well. Yeah, it's a uh, my YouTube journey has been has been interesting, um, and, and many times I feel like it ended, but little did I know it was only just beginning. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Okay, so we have the stars card here, which is good because then I can go into the curse room. Uh, so our spirit heart doesn't really matter for this floor because uh, we are ending it on this floor. That's a range. Okay, you know what? Range upgrade? Not bad for having a uh, dead ending. So, that's pretty good. No, but, um... Yeah, so, 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 we don't really need to deal with the devil here. Uh, I'll, I'll take all these pills. That could be fun. Alright. Alright. Okay, look up. Sure. Speed up. Sweet. Speed up. And piercing shots, completely useless because Dead Onion already does that for us. Sweet, very good. Yeah, so feedback always appreciated. That's uh, that's the gist, the gist of everything. I just talked about everything you can talk about, and the series ends here. Um, yeah, yeah, I, but like I said, I feel like I, I felt like my YouTube series, like my YouTube journey, has ended. Because um, I felt like I'm not getting any views anymore. I've already fallen out of uh, obscurity. Into obscurity. Uh, but that's a little bit like... Oh, school back, guys. That's a little uh, of a childish way to think. I, I, I know that. I know that. Because it's it's like, you know, I did the Northern Line Salt Shakers. Those did really well. Um, and I got a taste of what it's like to make something people want to watch. Uh, just the small issue with that is that it's not really my own content. It's someone else's content, but I repurposed it. Um... And that's something I wanted to break out of. Obviously, <laughs> I've done some weird decisions with channel moving in the past, uh, which probably scared more people away than anything. 
Uh, but I do want to break out from that, which is th which is what this is and has been with Hollow Knight, starting with Hollow Knight. But I felt like it ended. It turns out it's all just breaks because I'm never I'm, I'm never truly I never truly give up fully. And now I'm back again, and I, and I want to try something new, and that's going to be this. It's going to be a big Isaac series. So this episode is going to end soon. Uh, let's just find Mom here, and then uh, then that uh, this episode will end. So this was a little introduction to this new series. Um, you watched all the way. That's impressive. Thank you very much for watching all the way. Uh, if you enjoyed it, subscribe, obviously. Hit the like, the whole thing in magic. Um, and thank you for wanting to join me on this journey here of uh, self-improvement in the YouTube sphere. That's what I'm here for. And uh, if improvement can be seen, that, that'd be pretty cool. So final thoughts are just that. Um, once this comes out, I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep a daily schedule. Uh, there may be some days where I can't do it, but I want to make it a habit. Just m make something every day. That'd be great. That'd be great. I think I, I, think I do want to do that. I'll have to make a thumbnail, though. That's, uh, that, that's quite a thing. Okay, just fucking don't die to mom, though. That'd be nuts <laughs> if I died to mom. I have like $1,100 $1, in this damn game. But at the mom now, all right, there you go. Woo! That was the first run. Oh man, I, I just talked nonstop. I got into like a flow state. That was weird. The womb, uh, purist. Challenge 21. Oh, that's a fun one. Speed. Ah, oh, these are very fun challenges. We're gonna have a fun time. Hi, day. Woo! Again, thank you for watching. Um, this was the first episode of the Isaac series. Um, I hope to see you tomorrow for another episode. That'd be great. I'm going to go ahead and think of a thumbnail now. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night or morning or evening, obviously, wherever you live. Bye-bye.